Yuck. Can we talk about that Pokemon Nintendo Direct? Pokemon Direct. Can we talk about that Pokemon Direct for a second? Can we seriously talk about that Pokemon Direct for a second? Seriously. It was crooked. We are just cutting intros right now, okay? So Pokemon Direct went from being this event where they would promote all of the new stuff that was coming out when it comes to Pokemon, you know, all the new events, new games, merch, all that good stuff. And now it has turned into the most disgusting thing ever. You know, and, and I don't wanna be super negative, okay? Let's just get past the good stuff. Pokemon is dropping a new game and it is a Pokemon Legends game, okay? Pokemon Legends ZA. Do I understand what the Z means? Obviously, it's Zagarde or Zagard. However you, way you want to say his name, it is Zagard and that's pretty awesome. But do we understand what the A means? Absolutely not. And there is rumors, you know, there is people speculating and I don't give a crap because I'm just gonna wait until Pokemon actually talks about it to explain what the heck that A means because the speculation is just getting out of control. It is absolutely insane, disgusting, and I'm just like, yuck, yuck, tui, let's move on. You know, I actually am pretty excited because the Pokemon Legends game was actually really, really good, despite the fact that it was extremely um, barren to you know for lack of better words and you know it was, it was there was a lack of polish there let's just say that the game was amazing but you know it needed a little more time in the oven i think but i am really excited about this one you know they kind of hit us out of nowhere and they're taking us to kalos region which is kind of bizarre like i did not expect that to be where we'd be going because all the rumors were basically talking about pokemon black and white too the whole time everyone's been freaking out because of you know the rumors and the leaks that have been coming out and we're, we were thinking we were going to be getting a black and white 2 remake which didn't get announced and honestly i think it's because of the leaks i think pokemon might have you know they might have put that one back on the shelf there and you know just kind of left that there and just said hey we're just not gonna do that we're not gonna talk about that we're gonna leave that alone you know nobody really liked that too much so moving on I'm gonna cry but yeah i am pretty excited when it comes to this pokemon legends game i know that it is going to be good because the first legends game was good but i just don't understand the concept so essentially the pokemon legends game is going to be a futuristic landscape it's going to be the main city that obviously i can't remember right now because obviously you know right when i'm recording the video that's when i forget all the good stuff but it's the big main city of kalos region you know the big one the one that's circular it's got the paris tower and all that good stuff in it that city is going to be futuristic and I'm just like, huh? What? Huh? What? But why? Okay. Yeah! Yeah! You know, I'm gonna go on a limb and say, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and I'm gonna say, hey, you know what? Let's just wait and find out and see what they say. Let's wait and listen to the concept. Let's, let's try to understand it. Let's not just jump the gun. But if I had to say anything, if I had anything to say, it is why, why, why? Pokemon X and Y is one of the games that always bothered me because of how barren it is. And I know I keep using that word, but hey, this is the best way to, ex to explain these things. It really is. When I say it's barren, I mean it is you know you just play the game you beat the game and then it's just over it is abruptly over which is insane because this is the one game that gave you this gigantic lore drop where you know it was 2000 years ago there was a gigantic pokemon war and a bunch of pokemon died and all that kind of stuff so i'm thinking you know if you're gonna make a pokemon legends game obviously they went to the past with the first legends and yeah, it would have been a bit redundant to go to the past again when it comes to this one. But wouldn't it make sense for this one to be the one where you go to the past in? Because of that? 
that would have been like oh my gosh that would have been amazing amazing to see but they were just like hey nobody gives a crap about that lore that juicy steak of a lore let's just move on and let's just do something else so yeah i am a little bit confused when it comes to that i don't really understand that but you know i'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and i'm gonna say hey let's wait and find out let's wait till we get a little more information on this guy and you know form our opinions then right and you know another thing that i was thinking this would be really cool but you know the nintendo switch 2 technically kind of sort of has been leaked and you know it it's they're saying that it's going to be coming out in your q1 of 2025 and that's when this game's coming out if it comes out around the same time that the first legends game came out it will be coming out in in january and it makes so much sense how awesome would it be if they made a limited edition console to go with the game that would be insane and you know that's just the collector in me speaking but also honestly i think this game would benefit from a switch too i think this game would benefit from having more power the you know more capability to build a bigger game a more vast game you know uh and you know i, I know that sounds a little bit ridiculous because you know breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom exist but you know we're, I, I didn't really want to talk too much when it comes to the fact that the pokemon company just doesn't know how to make big games like that they tried it with scarlet and violet they tried it with legends and you know they just they're not capable of doing that unless they hire people to do it i don't know what the heck is going to happen when it comes to that but i will say this i'm excited for this game and i hope that it's actually good and well, I just realized I spent a lot of time talking about that. But honestly, that's really the only thing to talk about. Seriously, that's the only thing to talk about. The rest of the Direct were literally updates to their stupid mobile games and, you know, their little, all that kind of stuff. They updated Pokemon Go, uh, Pokemon Cafe Mix, Pokemon Sleep, all of those games. Pokemon Unite got an update. whoop the freaking do Like, all of those games that are designed to rob you got updates and i don't give a crap about them so that's why i'm not even covering them other than to say yuck all right guys that is the video thank you guys so much for watching this and as always don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content just like this and let me know were you guys surprised too were you guys surprised too when it comes to this game or were you disappointed like me because they didn't even drop Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 3 on the Nintendo Switch Online? <sighs> Alright guys, we'll see you on the next video. Peace! Seriously, stop playing around and give us Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 3. Enough is enough. I want to play Fire Red again. And not on there, on the Switch. Hurry up.